Hey guys, so I thought that I would just record myself doing my nails. I get asked about it all the time. So I just thought that I would make a little video and show you guys how I do it and kind of what products I use. Um, in this particular video, I am doing sort of an appray method. Um, I have some E Nail Couture um, Extra Extra Long, I believe it is extreme square nails i am just chemically etching them with my apray primer i prime my nails and then i do two coats of primer onto the false nail to chemically etch it they do have a specific product for that but the primer has always worked perfectly fine for me so that's what i use so I'm just doing that to each of the nails that I have already um, fit to my natural nails. I have also already um, prepped them with alcohol, cleaned them, pushed back my cuticles, etc. So excuse my shirt, I just have on an old shirt doing this. It's a shirt that I wear painting, dyeing my hair, etc. And um, the angle is not the best, but again, um, hopefully I will get better at it. This was just something that I decided to do last minute. So I am taking the Prairie Extend Gel and painting it on my natural nails in a somewhat thin but generous coat, um, avoiding the cuticle area. Um, after I get this on all of my nails, um, I will put it into the UV light, um, or LED light, excuse me, and cure it for 30 seconds. I really like the Apre Extend Wear um, Gel in Roxy, which is like a really vibrant um, but somewhat sheer pink. I really like that one, um, and I have it, but I'm getting low on it, so I just decided to use the clear, and then as you can see, I cured that. And now I'm going to use this IBD Gel. This one is in pink. Um, I bought it and of course you cannot see the color. I was hoping that it was going to be closer to the pink of the Apre. However, it is not. It is a very light sheer pink. And then here I am flipping my UV lamp over and backwards, if that makes sense, so that it stands up, which makes it so much easier to cure the nails, to flash cure them, um, to set them in place. So I take just a good amount of the IBD gel and put it into the well. I make sure that there is some on each side wall. And then I add a little bit more of a generous dollop into the middle to fill up the well area so that there is no gap in between the E nail couture nail and my natural nail if that makes sense but as you can see the color of the IBD gel is just a very light pink it is not that really pretty um, dark vibrant pink that I was looking for however I am going to try to tint it to be more of what I was looking for I've not tried that before um, but anyways so I push the nail down at a 45 degree angle and then as you can see I'm sticking it in the light this one comes on um, by motion, so it allows me to just hold the nail there and um, it flash cures it. And then I do a full cure for 60 seconds after my hand is done. So now I'm just taking a um, buffer block and buffing the shine off of all of the nails. And then I'm going in with an e-nail couture file and just sort of um, shaping them up a little bit. And then I also go around the edges with my cuticle bit 
Um, this is a cone bit, I believe, that it is actually called. It is from Sally's Beauty Supply. They did start carrying some actual um, nail bits. And I am just getting off any of the excess um, gel that has leaked out when I was um, flash curing them. And then just kind of shaping up around the nail, um, getting any little bits and pieces off and making sure that there is no shine on the nails. Um, if the nail is not roughed up, then the um, gel will not stick to your nail. So I'm just making sure that I have all of that roughed up, all the shine off. And then this is the Extend Gel that I was talking about in the color Roxy. It is a beautiful pink. I love this one for French manicures. Um, so as you can see there, it's more of a darker pink. And I am painting that on to my nail bed area. And I'm extending it out a little bit further than what my natural nail bed area is. I'm just kind of putting it on there haphazardly and then I will take a small brush, dip it in alcohol and go back and create that really pretty small line um, to have it all really even and uniform and nice, crisp. Um, there I go with the brush, getting it all cleaned up and into the shape that I want it to be. And as you can see, the part that hangs over my natural edge is still sort of see-through. You can tell where my natural nail bed ends and where the um, gel is extended to. So I go over that with a few other coats to make it all uniform and that same beautiful pink color so that you can't tell where my natural nail bed is and where the extended nail bed is, if that makes sense. And excuse my voice, I've been sick, and so my voice is still really raspy. Okay, so I am curing that in my lamp. And then um, when it comes out, I will do another coat of the Roxy on top of that, as I was saying. And there I go. So I'm trying to really concentrate on getting that extended area the same color as the rest of my nail bed. So um, most of the product is concentrated down there and then sort of pulled back and evened out. This is a really long and tedious process. It's not hard. It just takes a lot of time to get that really pretty small line and to get it exactly how I want to get it. So... It, it is time consuming, but um, to me, it's worth it to get the look that I want. So now I'm taking my Beatles base coat and I'm coating the rest of the nail. So the free edge, the, um, the tip part with some base coat because I'm going to paint that part white. And so I want to have a base coat laid down for the gel polish to stick to. And I didn't do it with this nail. Um, and it was kind of like a learning experience because I've only done French this way a couple of times. But I realized that it was easier if when I'm painting the base coat on the free edge to go ahead and cap the pink area with some top coat to make it easier to wipe off any white that I get on top of it, if that makes sense. I hope, because I'm not very good at explaining things. So here I am with my beetles. Um, this is just a white that came in a nude um, set of polishes. <coughs> and then again, I'm taking that brush and some alcohol and cleaning up um, the small line so like I said this is a very
time consuming um, way of doing it. Um, I am going to try some poly gel and hopefully that will be a little bit easier. Um, I've not tried poly gel before, so I'm going to order some and see if it's a little bit easier to do French and ombre with. Um, this is a dotting tool that I actually got from Dollar Tree. It is in the craft section, but I use it for my nails. Um, and it works perfect for, you know, dotting um, or creating those um, smile lines, lines, things like that. I really like it. Um, that's the only size they have, though. They don't have smaller um, dotting tools so but for a dollar it works great and then again I am just taking the white and I'm using a generous amount because I need to build up the white to be somewhat even um, with the pink that I have put down so that it's easier to blend so I'm just again going in with that dotting tool it makes it much easier for me to get a um, clean line with that my hands are not very steady. They tend to shake a lot. And because I've been sick, I have an inhaler, which also makes my hands shake more. So um, this was a little bit of a tedious process. Um, normally it doesn't take me this long to do. Um, the other thing with French tip when you're doing just basic French is it is simple, but it also, because there, it is simple and there's not um, a lot of glitter and nail art and things like that, um, any mistakes are really noticeable in it because it is such a simple um, design, I guess. So I cured that. Um, just going back in again and really trying to make sure that that is not necessarily completely even to the pink, but even enough to where I can blend it and um, there not be like a, a hump or a dip or anything like that between the two. And this is just a paintbrush that I'm using here to clean that up. Um, note to self don't use one that i've used with chalk paint <laughs> um it was kind of causing some issues i guess some of the chalk paint was kind of still stuck in the bristles and so at times there was little particles coming off onto my nail that i had to deal with as well so um, i couldn't find my other brush so i just thought oh i'll just use a paint brush it's fine um, which would have worked perfectly fine. I've used many times if I had already used it with something else. So um, just a little note to self there. <laughs> so again, just using the Beatles gel polish. I love their gel polishes. I've used their top coat and base coat. I think I've ordered it twice now. Um, it's really nice. It's very inexpensive. Um, I also ordered, like I said, a set of their nude um, gel polishes there's like a brown and then it goes down graduates all the way to white and um, that's the one I'm using there they're a generous size super inexpensive I really like them they have really good coverage too they're pretty opaque which is really nice so again I'm just looking at my nail trying to figure out what I need to do next where I need more um, again like I said this is a very long process it's not necessarily hard it is just very time consuming as you can see which if you didn't like that really bold pink um, nail bed that I like this would be much easier because you wouldn't have to build up that pink so much to get that um, opaqueness um, so if you were okay just leaving it with a sheer pink or it not being completely opaque um, then you wouldn't have to use so much white to build up to be even with the pink. And into light. So there's my Beatles top coat that I'm going to use to top coat all of this. Um, I found it easier when I'm doing something like this to go ahead and, um, top coat it that way when I'm doing the rest of my nails 
um, I'm not getting fuzz and things like that stuck to them when I'm touching the paper towel or whatever. Um, and I actually decided I forgot to go in with the, um, a prey extend gel to sort of encapsulate it all so that when I am filing, I don't lose any of the white or pink or mess any of that up. And it also, since it's thick, it helps even out that um, difference between the pink and the white variation in levels so that um, any gap is sort of filled in with the extend gel. Um, and then I went ahead and top coated that. And then I did white on my other, on my index finger and my ring finger, and then did a French on the other three nails, um, basically because it was just much easier to do a couple of them and um, in solid white than the whole tedious process over again. And then I have taken my Jenny's um, secret, um, I forgot what exactly, it's Jenny's Secret, uh, I guess, rhinestone glue. Um, it's very, very thick. It is the only thing that I have found that actually keeps my rhinestones on. Um, and I've put a little bit on my finger and added a Swarov Swarovski star rhinestone on each of my um, white nails. And then it cured that in the lamp for 30 seconds. And now I'm going... I've put little lines of the Jenny's Secret as in making it look like a shooting star kind of. And then I'm taking my little wax pencil and picking up my little rhinestones and um, putting it over the Jenny's Secret um, rhinestone glue. Um, the Jenny's Secret is a little bit expensive, but it is worth it because it holds your stones in place. And there is nothing I hate more um, besides a nail popping off than my rhinestones and stuff coming off um, when I'm doing things. And it's just so frustrating to me. Um, if I am wearing rhinestones and things on my nail, I want them to last the whole time that I am wearing the set of nails. Um, and I'm pretty rough on my nails too. So... Uh, this is the only thing that I've found that actually works and keeps my nails or my rhinestones on. I've used this for uh, all kinds of charms and things, um, 3D, um, little nail gem things, all kinds of stuff, and it works really well. So um, these rhinestones are just glass ones. They're not Swarovski. Um, but they're really beautiful. I will see if I can find a link to them to link below. But they're really great quality. I believe that these are the ones that I purchased after watching. Um, oh, what is her name? What is her name? Vanity Val. That's it. Vanity Val. So I'll see if I can find her channel and put it down below as well. I love watching her. She has some really fun nail art and she's so fun to listen to. So, um, she is the one that got me started on that and I absolutely love it now. Um, uh, by the way, Jenny's, um, secret nail glue is made by the, um, nail artist of Cardi B. Her name is Jenny and I believe her page is called um, nails on 7th or something like that. I'm sure you guys have all heard of her. Um, she's kind of legendary in the nail business and, um, she has started coming out with some products, um, in collaboration with some different people as well. So here's the final product. Um, I tried to go as fast as I could through this video since it was so long. Um, it took me so much time to do, um, this set of nails. But I hope you guys like them. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for all of my fun and nail adventures. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you next time.